Hello and welcome to a new episode. In the previous update you could see us making the foundations of our sanitary building. In this episode we're continuing with the sanitary building and we'll be installing the floor frame and the flooring. So the concrete has cured over the last few days. Now we need to fill the blocks with concrete again so we have a nice full solid base. But before we do that, I'm going to install the framing for the floor. Now, if you want to know why we're installing the framing first before pouring the concrete, stay tuned and I'll tell you after we install the framing.
All right, all the beams are in. Now I'm just gonna double check again if it's still square. And then I'm going to drill the holes for the anchoring in the concrete foundation that we have. I've drilled all the holes for the anchoring. Now it's time to put the anchoring in place and then it's time to pour the concrete. Which brings me why I'm doing it like this. It's because if I poured the concrete first, I'd have to have the anchors in there already, which limits the amount of flexibility I have with getting the frame in the correct place and by doing it the other way around, I've increased the ability of moving everything around, getting it exactly square as I want it, in the right position as I want it, then drill the holes, put in the anchors without thinking of the exact position of the anchor, because everything is already into place. And then as last part, pour in the concrete, let it cure, tighten the bolts, and done. So for anchoring I'm using M8 thread with a bolt on top and a washer on top. And then on the, in the bottom, which is going to be down in the concrete, I'm also putting a washer in the, and the bolt. I think that should be sufficient. Now the only downside of this method is that it's kind of hard to get the washer and the bolt into place at the bottom. There's that. The concrete has been poured, now it has to cure a couple of days before I can tighten the bolts and then we can continue with the flooring. Good morning, welcome to a misty Portugal. We're going to make the flooring of our sanitary building. But before we start on that, we're going to do some digging for the sewage. So let me tell you about the design of our sanitary building. It's quite a compact format, being four and a half meters long, 2.3 meters wide. And what we're going to do is we're going to have two doors on this side with two toilets behind it. Then here in the middle, we have a technical area. And then on this side, with doors at the front, we're going to have two showers. And the technical area in the middle, that's where we're going to dig for the sewage preparation because it's just easy to dig without a building standing here. So here we have the start for the sewage. There's a pipe going all the way that way to our new septic system. But here is the, like the main start. There will be our toilets. One there and one there. 
and between these two beams that's where the technical area needs to be. So we're going to dig something over here where we can put the sewage for the toilets and it's gonna we're going to dig something over there for the sewage for the showers. All right, let's get started. Just a few more loads and then we're done with the digging. Now if you're wondering where we're going to take that dirt, well we're going to fill some concrete raised garden beds with it. But that will be in a future episode. If you're interested, please consider subscribing. Now let's fast forward to the flooring. So we're going to cut the floor, then fix it to the structure, except for the part where the technical area will be. There we're going to install the floor later on because we want that area to be serviceable so those, that floor needs to be demountable. Now yes, I'm putting OSB as flooring and yes, it's going to be a sanitary building and yes, I'm going to tile it and wood and tiling usually don't really match that great because of the different expansion rates with temperatures and moisture. However, I'm still going to try it. OSB doesn't work that much as natural wood, so it will not expand that much. And to lessen the chance for tiles breaking or joints failing, I'm putting the seams of the OSB right in the center of the platform where there will be a partition, a wall, so that we don't have any seams in the OSB in the rooms itself. I almost forgot, before I mount the floor pieces, I need to tighten the anchors that we've installed in the previous video. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll put a link in the description. Here we go. Now the next one.
got ourselves a floor. Pretty cool, huh? We've got the, the hatches in the technical area. I've rounded off all the edges. Now we're ready to install the framing. But that's something we're gonna do in the next episode. See you then!